Hello my friends, in this case we want to check uh, Glassdoor generator. Uh, before check this plugin, I want to show you how to install the plugin. Okay, I minimize the 3D Studio Max. After downloading and extracting the plugin, we have two main uh, folders that it, uh, its name is Glassdoor generator and user icons. You must first uh, copy and paste this folder to a script folder in your TLD Studio Max folder. So I want to uh, do this action. Uh, I copy it and go to C drive, program files, go to this, your version 2022. And in this folder, in scripts, uh, I before copy it and you can see we have this folder here and uh, the second folder is the user icons you must copy this folder to the uh, this path go to users your user and application data local autodesk 3d studio max and your version and ENU and paste here that uh, you can see I copy this folder before here and its name is user icons okay go to 3d studio max and uh, after installing the plugin and opening your 3d studio max go to customize and hotkey editor and in the hotkey editor window in this uh, field uh, write this GLA and you can see we have this plugin here Glassdoor generator and you must determine a shortcut for this a plugin I before uh, show you the uh, assigning shortcuts to the our tools or our plugins and if you want to see this uh, education you must go to my uh, youtube channel and in this channel i have an education about select and uh, set the selection brackets in 3d studio max 2022 and you can uh, find uh, this education about assigning the shortcuts for our tools or plugins okay go to 3d studio max and press ctrl shift l you can see we have this plugin here, Glassdoor Generator, and I want to uh, check my system unit. It is very, very important, and you must, uh, before the drawing your doors, set this uh, unit uh, equal your 3D Studio Max system unit. Uh, I want to show that I have uh, this uh, system unit here I uh, uh, check it uh, for centimeters and a centimeter here so I want to uh, check this box to centimeter and uh, I want to draw my door so I select this door style 6 and press create button and you can see we have this door here so we must to uh, set its uh, parameters height frame uh, determine the height of the door so I want to change it to 350 and you can see we have this uh, windows here and I want to set it to default value and in the width frame we can check the uh, total frame of our doors i change it i press f4 key and select this door for a better result in our viewport and you can see we have this uh, difference here i set it to 400 and in the third field height door equal the height of the door and i want to change it you can see we have this change here i set it to default value 
and in the last step we can set the width of the door that it's uh, for our two doors we have uh, 200 centimeters here that it's uh, 100 for one door and 100 for one door so i want to change it you can see we have this difference here and i want to check it or set it to default value and i want to press a four key and deselect the door uh, change the handles style we have eight styles here one two three four five six seven and eight we have uh, eight styles here that uh, you can use your own style in your projects uh, after um, uh, check or set the parameters you can press convert button to convert your object to a table poly so i want to convert it uh, but you must be sure about your dimensions and after uh, this action you can press the convert button i want to convert it and you can see if i select this part of window we have this a table poly mode for all our objects and in the last step if you want to move your door to your position you can for avoiding the some problems uh, select or all, all our all parts of your door and make it group i want to make it group so glass door and after this action uh, we have this door here and we can use uh, easily this door for our projects uh, many important note about these doors is that uh, these doors have um, a sufficient uh, picks for our doors and you can see we have this lock here or these parts here and it's uh, have this handles here or these picks here and it's a complete door and we don't need to model another picks for our doors so i hope you enjoy this tutorial if you like it subscribe our channel in youtube and follow our page in the instagram thanks a lot see you in the next lesson